I killed six rattlesnakes this springtime. I mean, between spring and now, six rattlesnakes I've killed. And uh, I rake my driveway with a leaf rake at night. And then in the morning, I go and see if there's any snake tracks. And I rake my driveway to see if there's any snakes. You know, a leaf rake, I think I need one of those. What do you think about Canadians in general? I kind of think they're scum. Canadians? Yeah, they're evil. Well, they got crummy weather, which makes people irritable. And that's I think that's they're like, the, yeah, Seattle. Seattle has all that rain. So it's a SARS seasonal awareness syndrome. Not enough sunshine makes people grumpy that's and sad. Which is Germany. <laughs> you know what? I think you may be onto something. Maybe that's their problem. They just don't they don't have enough uh, you know, sun and the vitamins and benefits that that provides. Could that cause like massive weight gain, perhaps? And uh Absolutely. You know. If you look at Europe, northern Germany is angry, grumpy people, and southern Germany, Bavaria, it's all the happy people because of the sunshine and the vineyards and sunshine makes people happy they're like you know they've talked to their northern brothers look we should be doing some work fuck you it's sunny i'm gonna go out and have some fun so you know life is about living life is not about working yeah you know i was i was just thinking about that i know you know canadian guy who's who's really you know our audience loves him but he's about 800 pounds now and uh just really you know he has no happiness in his life anymore and I think it might be down to the weather. I hadn't really thought about that, but well, uh, if he's a if he's obese, yeah, like I've is. been obese. The most I've ever been is like three hundred, but I move slower. That. Everything hurts. Right. Um, simple day to day chores, wiping your ass. You can't <laughs> See, really get there. He you know, literally has like, a problem with that. One of his former roommates. Uh, had said that he he had a problem, you know, cleaning his ass properly, and there would be like sh I'm not kidding, by the way, there would be like shit trails and and stuff like that. It, that sounds like when you can't take care of yourself physically, and everything starts hurting, you're gonna you're gonna feel like it's over, and there's you know it it took a while to get fat, and it's gonna take a while to lose the weight, and the person might not have ever lost weight, so then it's a big leap of faith but they have to give up all the things they love eating which is what caused the problem it's true our body's a fireplace and uh you know you put all that wood in there it doesn't need so many pieces of wood to <laughs> keep burning you know but people just shove all that wood in there like more fires better no it's not well you know this guy he, he has a real problem it's, it, it's it's wood metaphorically but it's actually like um you know giant slices of pizza like he would eat like two large pizzas and wanted to eat three uh in one sitting wash it down with a two a full two liter coke uh and then mm -hmm. he he would also you know eat all these all these candies and seven can you believe this wayne this guy we care about him and so we've been trying to you know get him to change his ways a little bit work out maybe change his diet a little mm -hmm. bit but uh he would eat seven family size bags of chips in one sitting yeah well that's that's addiction right there on the topic of working out that might scare somebody who's been stuck on the couch go for a two minute walk one minute in one direction turn around and come home and then on the second day go for like a three minute walk walking is pretty darn good exercise yeah. You're outside, fresh air. You might see some birds or you're going to see nature. And the more they're outside, the happier they're going to be. Uh, you can walk one mile in 20 minutes. And I, I used to lift weights, but there was a time in my life when I was lazy and I lived in San Francisco and, and uh, the gym was in Pacific. I lived in Pacific Heights and the gym was in the Presidio, like uh, three miles away. So I used to walk to the gym at least I got there. And I, that walking was a form of exercise. So when I got there, if I still had energy, I would lift some weights, but then I still had to get home. But just ho the whole experience of walking there was it, at the bare minimum, some workout based on my mood, determined more workout. And then I used to go swimming. Swimming is really great because it's a non-impact sport. 
It doesn't hurt your legs, and it's great for oh, overweight people because you're pretty much floating. Right. You do what works for you. Um, cut out all those carbonated drinks. Those it's high fructose corn syrup tricks your stomach into thinking it's still hungry. And high fructose corn syrup is like sugar, but it costs 90% less than sugar. And so it's a sugar substitute made from corn and your body thinks you're still hungry. So you keep eating more and then it spikes your glucose level. It's going to lead to diabetes, obesity. It's, it's an absolute fucking nightmare. And I think they make it because they want to kill people. Like they want to so give good. people energy for at work. So between their twenties and thirties, they're like high as a kite on that cheap liquid soda. And then they're going to be dead by 50. Their joints wear out, they're obese and boom, heart attack. They paid into social security, but they don't reap any of the benefits and all for the small cost of subsidizing a few acres of corn. Now, let me ask you this. Just last question on this. Hold on. I got a super chat here. Hold on. A Sunny D sent $5. <laughs> the best part of walking is the point when you can eventually chase after women and they no longer can get away. Just kidding. Sorry, Ralph. Embarrassed smiley face. Thank you, Sunny D. No, don't be sorry. He said the best part of walking is the point when you can eventually chase after women and they no longer can get away. Just kidding, he said. Uh, now, let me ask yeah. you this. Last question on this topic. I kind of, it, it was, you know, we were talking about it earlier, how to save this guy's life because it's getting kind of drastic. Um and, you know, he's a beloved member of the community. And, you know, we're kind of sad to see him in this shape. And so I'm hoping that by talking about this a little bit that uh, it'll wake him up. You know what I mean? Because, you know, he's a, he's a beloved figure, beloved guy. And, you know, we don't want to see him pass away before his time, Wayne. It's kind of sad to see. But this guy. He should do live stream walks. Yeah, I agree. He should. Oh, he wait, could I interrupted easily. you. Go ahead. No, but I was just going to say he. On air now, he can't hardly even get up out of his chair. He has to, he has to like rock back like this and like get forward momentum to even get out of his chair. That's how bad it's gotten, Wayne. Yeah, you know what I mean. You ever seen somebody like that? Yeah, he's they, weeble wobbling. Yes, he's a weeble wobble. That's exactly right. He's a weeble wobble, and he can't get up out of his chair even like it's kind of getting a little scary uh to watch this guy on air and you know usually we might poke fun at somebody like that but you know he's he's a beloved guy beloved by me beloved by so many and so it breaks our heart to see him like this and you know i, I was thinking walking even may be too much for him at this point um you know mm -hmm. until he until he gets it under control a little bit is there something that he could do even in his chair you know seated uh to like get the blood flowing do a little exercise like that well, he needs to, he needs some, uh, a higher metabolism. So his doctor probably should prescribe him some type of, uh, speed yeah. <laughs> for he lack of speed. a better word. He needs to quit eating food. He should go on a fast, just a uh, water and, uh, maybe like one slice of bread. And, and do that for 20 days. He needs to consult the doctor because yeah, he's reached seven. a position. He's like a car with so many problems that you couldn't even drive three miles without something breaking. That's right. And That's so, right. and it's also motivation and he needs to have hope for the future. So um, like, I think ways to have fun, like if he has fun because he's inside on the internet, he can have fun outside walking. Hey guys, I'm walking, look at this view. Oh, there's 20 people here. How are you guys? And they can be his walking buddies through the internet. So he can live stream as he's walking. Oh, check this out. Check that out. Yeah. Maybe he drives his car to a park and he does some loops. Yeah, I agree. Um, I mean, there's a lot of different ways. I think people would enjoy that. And they're, it's breaking their heart to see him die like this. And he doesn't seem to have any care like for that. himself. Where, really? My, yeah, my dad would just sit on the couch. Well, he has big man chair and uh wasn't even a lazy boy and he would just drink beers old english 800 my dad was like 370 this. pounds huge this guy's like 500 weed eating. yeah Go ahead. wow your He's, dad was no not my dad no he the guy we're talking about is about i said 800 earlier but he's actually like 500 pounds uh yeah it's getting it's getting well, scary he's lucky he's lucky he can still walk um because Barely. and he's in canada yeah, he's in Canada. He he could easily fall and break a, a, a limb, 
an, a leg or something and he could be bedridden? Who's going to take care of him? Well, he's got he a friend. He thinks it's bad now. He's on a slippery slope. It's only going to get worse. So it sounds like he needs some love in his life. You know, if you've got, it sounds like he's part of a community and people love him. Um, he should go on the Atkins diet, which is no carbs, just uh, meat, cheese, and milk, and uh, beef. Like I'm just eating some beef right now, just a big old piece of meat. Right. Um, he could he could do that, uh, and he has a he has a caretaker. That guy's not as beloved in the community, but he has a caretaker. But the only problem is, um, this guy's a you know crackhead, and he kind of um, is always like really high all the time, and he's only concerned. It's all right, but well, I mean, you know, it, it, he doesn't. It's really what he know. puts in his fucking mouth. He needs to have a real honest conversation that what goes in the mouth ends up on his ass, and it's <laughs> what he's eating. It's the pizza. It's the Coca Cola. No more cheating. No more cheating. He should go on the only egg diet. Eggs are part of the Atkins. Boil a bunch of eggs, scrambled eggs, scrambled eggs with cheese and butter. Super fucking delicious. What happens when you don't have carbs and only go for like the Atkins diet, your body is craving carbohydrates. And it says, well, I guess I'll take it from my fat ass because you didn't give it to yourself. So your body will start melting. It'll just melt those carbs away. It takes about... 30 to 40 days for it to get going when you go into something called co petit cotesis ketosis yeah ketosis yeah and um but literally just make your if he likes chicken barbecue all the chicken you've ever wanted to eat and just eat all that chicken and hamburger hamburger patties but no bun he's got to cut the bread out he's got to cut the cut let me show him to you no more yeah you, you, you no haven't bread. actually seen this guy um let me see if I can find the photo here just so you can see him. And again, he's sure. beloved and we hate to see him this way. You know, maybe I shouldn't talk about it. You know, maybe I'm embarrassing him, but I, you know, I'm trying to be thoughtful it's and, okay. you know, I just, I'm just hoping he sees some of this cause it's, it's kind of gotten to the point I've ignored it for a while. And you drawing a little mm -hmm. diagram here. Well, no, I was, yeah, I'm doing a diagram of, of a food versus processed food. So this is a piece of processed food, which is small. And this is like a piece of wheat they used to make bread with. Hmm. So when when pre, you know, when food is processed, the malt, the bits of it are smaller because it went through a machine. But before processed food, food was this big. And the reason I want to show you the size is when Pumpkin that's in your stomach, he needs the to acids attack it and it takes longer to break it down so it becomes stable food. But when food is small particles, your body absorbs it quickly, and that leads to a spike in your glucose. So you get more energy because you your body assimilated the food quickly. And that's what he's doing is he's going on these, these highs, drinks some Coca-Cola, a slice of pizza, then he's high as a kite. That's right. He's actually like a drug addict, but with food. He's a food addict. And the problem is you need food to live. So he's like, but I got, I got to eat to live. So... The hardest part of the Atkins diet is not having carbohydrates, which are sugars. They're quick sugars, and alcohol is a sugar. He maybe he drinks alcohol. He drinks too. a lot. He has yeah. so he actually has a sugar addiction. It's that simple. If he was to cut out things that are sugar, there's real sugar. There's sugar in the alcohol. There's sugar in the carbs. If he cut all that out, the body would say, "I need some sugar. Where can I get it?" And the only answer is my fat ass. That's correct. Now let me show them to you. And again, I'm not trying to embarrass this guy, but you know, I just, I just want you to see, and again, his caretakers in this photo. And unfortunately, um, if you see this photo, Wayne, uh, his caretaker the casino guy? high as a kite. Yeah. He's high as a kite. Um, yeah. Do you see this guy on the right here? Like, I mean, yeah. it's gotten bad. It's gotten pretty bad. The guy with the beard is the caretaker, right? Yeah. He's the caretaker. You can see, look yeah, at his it's eyes, it's all red. He's smoked something, done something before this photograph. Um, yeah. And he needs to be on his game because he's got, you know, I'm not kidding, by the way. The guy on the right is the one we're talking about, and he had sepsis uh, during the summer because he got an infection from, you know, being so fat. And um, it almost killed him. It almost killed him, and he, he came back too early, and his skin was all green. 
Um, and oh. you know, it was it was really scary. Now you see him on the right. Like, does that even? You can't even make out his his facial features, right? Like, that's just it's it's getting pretty yeah, scary. Well, and also the caretaker is the caretaker paid for by the state or medical some kind of medical. I think he coverage? does get some kind of stipend from the Canadian government for. for so the caretaker, caretaker could yeah. be breaking the law by being intoxicated during the job of being a caretaker. And then he's doing illegal drugs potentially. So he's actually being, and he, he could be an enabler. He is. Since he's not, like he's he's basically, he doesn't want the, the Kino Casino guy to get healthy because that's his income. So by having the guy always be overweight, he's got permanent job. And he's also <laughs> mentally ill because he's doing drugs. <laughs> You're so on point, you wouldn't even believe it. Uh, and I do believe he's in violation of uh, some Canadian regulations there. I mean, you see him, Wayne. He's high as a kite. The guy on the left, he's supposed to be taking what care of this What if a nurse guy. went to the, you know, nurses work in hospitals. What if nurses went to, to work drunk and high? They would be fired. They have to be lucid while they're on the job so they make the best uh, medical decisions for the patient. It, um, what is, it's called a fiduciary relationship where... They put their personal feelings aside and they do the most business professional for their client. And so this guy is breaking the law. I agree. And it's, you know, again, I've tried not to say anything about it for the longest, but it's getting to the point where somebody has to say something, Wayne, or, or this guy's going to well, die. We're having a small intervention right, right here. Like this is, yeah, he needs an intervention and um, yeah, he, he needs to go to a hospital like for 60 days and only be on the, a special diet. He needs to be taken out of his environment, which is enabling his bad behavior. And again, there you see the, the caretaker over there on the right, pouring up a, a big glass of wine. You know, if anything, he's contributing uh, to the downfall. Well, he's given the wine to the, the, to the overweight guy. No, he's drinking it himself. No, the, the overweight guy oh, well. has a giant bottle of vodka that he just swells down. Uh, and this is supposed yeah, to be that's... his caretaker on the right, and he's, you know, he's getting drunk on the job, and, you know, this is not what the Canadian taxpayer paid for, right? Like this is. Well, uh... he continues because he feels he's accepted by the community because all that he has all the viewers, but half sure. of them are, are there to watch him have a heart attack on air. That's right, literally. Yeah, they don't, you know, some of those guys care about him, but a lot of them don't, Wayne, and and they say just eat up. As a matter of fact, he has, uh, you know, certain certain women and fans send him like these big boxes of chocolates and food and they like to watch him eat it on camera and you uh -huh. know he's killing himself yeah, to their delight right yeah that's right like like they're seek that when they send him those gifts of uh sweets and things to eat it's not a gift of love it's a gift of sabotage that's exactly you're so prescient you wouldn't what even he believe should it. do what he should do is say thank you for this gift I'm going to give it to one of my fans because this is too toxic for me right now. So he then, or he could auction it, he could give it away as an auction, or he could take it to uh, some place where it would be safe for somebody to eat, but not for him. But by him giving it away, the the fans won't send him that stuff anymore because they, they don't get the reward of watching him die eating it. It's true. And again, it's a sad situation. And, you know, I didn't really plan on talking about it, but it came up at the beginning of the broadcast. And, you know, it's kind of breaking our heart here on the kill stream. And I'm hoping that some of these words get through to him, Wayne. Um, you know, I I'm not sure if they will, but. He needs to get to an AA meeting or somebody needs to bring an AA meeting to his, his living environment. He's an alcoholic and, um, He's going to kill himself. It's not a question of if, it's a question of when. And he needs to quit drinking himself to death. That's what he's doing. It's hard to even talk about. He can do it. He, there's so many people of all ages. I met people at AA that were 70 years old who entered the rooms, and they were wealthy millionaires, and they quit drinking because of – they went home, they walked home from the bar and tripped and fell and hit their head on the curb and were knocked out. And somebody found him and brought the ambulance and they woke up in a hospital. And he's like, whoa, I can't do this anymore. I'm going to die. And so this guy, 
he's got to determine does he want to live or does he want to die because he could he could he's young probably 30 or 40 he could live another 50 years there, there's so much magic in life and to throw it away for some alcohol and, and sweets it's it's tragic it's tragic and again it's it's hard to talk about i'm glad i have these sunglasses on you know my eyes are welling up there a little bit because you know the guy's killing himself and it's just sad i see prayers in the chat for this guy and you know the caretaker is just concerned with himself and it, it's embarrassing at Bumpkin this point sent three dollars who um, wants to fund me the money well to bring i do think the police should be involved on this caretaker because th this guy is. part part of the intervention is this guy is not his friend since he's paid by the government to babysit him as he kills himself, uh, he's not really doing his job. His job is to say, no, you cannot be drinking right now. You're about to have a heart attack. Your doctor gave you medication. He gave you a diet. And this is all I'm cooking you. And then the overweight guy's like, I don't want to eat it. And the caretaker says, tough shit. It's That's the just, way it should be. It's I, I think it, it has come to the point, and again, I didn't want to. I didn't really want to go here, but uh, it, it has come to the point where the Canadian authorities need to be involved with the caretaker. Um, you know, he's he's doing dope on air. He's getting drunk on air and, you know, feeding this guy just the worst stuff for him. And he just keeps gaining and gaining and gaining. And, um, you know, it's getting out of control. He can barely even get up anymore. So um, I would hope the yeah. Royal, Royal Canadian Police will do something about this. Yeah. Yeah. Um well, he has to walk in his own shoes, and um, he can't really walk, Wayne. Yeah, like alcohol is slow suicide, and so he's slowly committing suicide with every bite. Self harm. Um, I've I've been on a weight. I wanted to lose weight, uh, starting in like February, and I was up to two seventy two, and now I'm down to like two thirty eight, and I cut out soda pop you know uh, two liter bottles of cheap soda either coca-cola or the walmart dollar bottle i was drinking just four of those a month but that was just enough to send my body off it tilted in the direction of putting on pounds it's so bad i saw um, chief of staff just mentioned to me he can't even tie his shoes anymore he has to use velcro shoes um i see some people in the chat saying rumors of, of abuse by the caretaker i mean he's abusing just by not doing his job but you know rumors of, of when they're not able to be seen that perhaps he's you know the guy can't he's not mobile anymore and perhaps he's you know yeah. hurting this guy even behind well, the scenes it's common story right you know what i mean caretaker just if a I, sick you know guy. if it was somebody i cared about and that i saw that abuse and i couldn't reach them i i think the next level is to get law enforcement involved Me too. um say look at you know this person is being paid by the state to make sure he does the healthy things and he's not doing that. He's actually enabling him. So. Well, I hope some of these words get through to him and, you know, I see a lot of prayers in the chat and we, we have some, there's some good friends of his who, who are my friends now and they tried to help this guy and they did everything they could to intervene and the caretaker cut them out of his life pushed them away, encouraged him to push them away because they were concerned for this guy's health and safety. And, you know, it's a common story, right? Like the the, the few people who did care, who, who you know, really loved this guy. I mean, the, the fans love him too, but like, you know, his real friends who loved him, they got pushed out of the out of the scene by this caretaker guy who's only concerned with his next high. Uh, and, you know, there's some of them are in the chat and it breaks their heart. This is literally every al this is every addiction story. The addict who's slowly killing themselves is uh, traumatizing their friends and family who love them. They're like, we want to help them, but we don't know how. And I, you know, so painful to watch them slowly kill themselves. And that's when they do the intervention. So somehow somebody needs to do an intervention with him. And part of the intervention is a solution. You can't just say, stop doing it, and then we'll see you later. You have to say, we're worried about your behavior and the, what you're doing. And so we've arranged for you to go to this rehab facility for a period of time so you can get back on track. So somebody needs to find a, a way for him to go to a, a hospital or a rehabilitation place, even, uh, even a for alcohol rehabilitation. He's not going to have any alcohol, and they're going to have a set, a certain type of food. So... 
Look, now, let me show you. This is a picture that the caretaker took and, and put out for his own pleasure, which, I mean, that should tell you how sick this guy is. Now, let me show you. This is a this is a picture of him before he even got as bad as he is now. Um, like oh, yeah, I've seen that photo. Yeah, this is him, you know, even a little bit slimmer. But, you know, his caretaker took a picture of this photo, and the couch is just, like, soaked in shit and all these... You know, pieces of garbage next to him, and this yeah. is how he sleeps every night, Wayne. And, that's uh, that's a total invasion of privacy, and said. that caretaker should be fired, and uh, probably sued for defamation of character. I mean, because this guy's not in the best mental state, and then the caretaker's making fun of him online. That's insanity. It's insane. This is the guy trusted with his health, and you know, I'm hoping maybe somebody could forward some of this to the Royal Canadian Mounted Police or, or whatever organization, uh, government uh -huh. uh, entity there in Canada that can kind of clean this up. They need to step in, you know, because it, his life's out of control uh, at this point, Wayne. We're worried we're going to lose him, and um, you know, it's just it's kind of a tragedy. He's, he's not even thirty, Wayne. He's he's younger than thirty. Yeah, he's like twenty. Technically, we're going to lose everybody. Well, we're yeah. going to lose everybody. But not he could avoid Before it his time, soon with the, right, yeah, yes, but yeah, he's his behavior is suicidal. So you might, you know, the way maybe to cover it with the Royal Mounted Police is this person's behavior is slow suicide, and then the nurse is enabling him. This is a person who the taxpayers pay money to save his life, and instead of having a a a professional person there as a nurse that person is actually supposed to be an angel but they've sent satan that's exactly that's exactly right he is like a satanic figure uh, at this point and i've heard that said by the chat even like this guy is devilish yeah he, he's broken i'm sure they have some kind of a hippocratic oath where they're always supposed to protect the person they're caring for Imagine you go to rehab and the person at rehab wants to take care of it. And you're like, I just want a drink. And they're like, okay, I'm going to sneak you a few drinks, but don't tell anybody. That would be insane, right? It's just tragic. The guys, the character is always yeah. high, smoking crack and, and, you know, getting drunk and stuff. Is he like really that. smoking crack? Yes, he smokes crack, Wayne. He smokes crack and it's, wow. he, it's a delight for him to smoke crack. And he said that on air. And, uh, is that legal in Canada? I don't know how he gets it. You know, I, I don't think it's legal well, anywhere. Really, he's probably but... got it on his possession. So, you know, like the Royal Mounted Police, you, you right. probably have enough evidence for them to get a search warrant. Well, that's what I was going to say earlier. He's got all kinds of drugs and, you know, paraphernalia and stuff at his house. I know that's illegal in Canada. Uh, and, you know, he, he keeps enough crack to just stay lit up all the time. And then when he wants to come down and, He's off the high. He, he breaks out the boxed wine. It's not, you know what I mean? Like, the guy is just, like, the lowest junkie that you could ever see. Like, it's it's crack. It's boxed wine. He huffs, like, spray paint and stuff like that. Like, it's, um... Anonymous yeah, $3. That's he true. Well, this, yeah, the, and the, the caretaker it. is absolutely parasitic. He's that's a leech. <laughs> that's exactly so. right. That's exactly right, and he, there's been other instances in, in his life of this too. And he's he's an obvious leech. He, he if he, if 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 the Kino Casino guy dies, the caretaker, it's almost attempted murder. What's happening? I agree, and you he know he would be responsible in his death. Well, the guy has no remorse. He's showing up to the job high. He's not going to pass a drug test. The police need to test him for cocaine in his bloodstream, or do uh, a hair sample blood test or a hair sample test follicle test yeah. Uh, yeah and look you know it's it's a the guy i don't know we got to get this caretaker out of there because uh he, he also um had his own son aborted and he la he went he you know he laughs about it in public and thinks that's funny clearly he has no conscience whatsoever right like it's just who even does that way he's a sociopath the, the psychopath and the sociopath have both things in common, which is no empathy for others. One is born and one is made. The, the, the psychopath is born and the sociopath is created. So he could be, we don't know which one he is, but he's one of the, one of those two. And so he's, he's the personification of Satan. He's one of Satan's disciples. 
you don't know how right you are with everything you've said here. Like you haven't missed a note, honestly. He he is a disciple of Satan. Mm -hmm. Satan's disciple. Hey, I want to. If you want to switch gears, I want to yeah, talk about I some think, fun things. I, yeah, it's getting a little. It's getting a little hard. I, and I kind of, I had to readjust a couple times because I was almost about to cry here on air thinking about this. And yeah. you know, I just want to give it, you know, a, 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 a little bit of attention, a little bit of spotlight here at the top, and hope that well, we, maybe we probably lit a fire. I bet you some people might make some calls. I hope so. And try to save. Them. I hope so. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Wolf. Remember to like and subscribe.